When most people lose money, they try to learn from their mistakes and make a gain. Now, what if I told you there is a trader who wanted to get rich quick, even majored in finance, only to constantly lose money? And not even his own. He stacked up debt and loans just to lose millions. It is my honor to present to you a trader who goes by the name of Get Rich Quick, I don't care how, who ironically seems to be addicted to losing money and now finally says, please don't trade options, it will ruin your life. His story begins 3 years ago on August the 31st, 2020, when he created his Reddit account and discovered Wall Street bets. As the name suggests, he wanted to get rich quick, so he started looking for any glitches he could use to get rich. If he found any, they went terribly wrong because just about a month later he said that he's down by $500,000 from just 10k. He posted his loss twice. The first one he deleted himself and the second got removed. So now all we have left are comments from the distant past. But here's what happened. He bought 2 day still expiry options and went from 2k to over 400k. Then he had a put expiring on Monday and was like this can't go tits up. The coronavirus is gonna get worse over the weekend, but for whatever reason SPX went up over $50. The next trade the market opened and froze, as he made a market order of a put. Because he wanted to get rich quick, he naturally bought more shares than his account had cash. Since at the time it cost around $500, he made an order for 10 of them, and once the market opened it glitched him in the trade. He was positive for just a few seconds, then boom. He just wiped his account and started working full time at his job. Now judging by the comments about his deleted post and screenshot, he owed the broker $48,000 and just told them he's going to pay it back soon. Nevertheless, he thought he could make it back if he wouldn't get greedy. But hey, at least he enjoys seeing people lose after his personal account goes down by 98.2%. It just makes him feel better and not as regarded. Anyway, in the spirit of not being greedy he decided to try turning $500 to $100,000. His plan was to play with SPY, SPX, Microsoft, Apple and Tesla. And because he has to get rich quick, he was going to trade 2 day still expiry options. I'm guessing this plan also didn't work out because of greed. Here we can see him asking himself why can he easily sell at a 95% loss and can't sell when he's up 450%. He even said he's actually smart but he gets mentally challenged when it's time to sell. As a result, he had to get a job and even got an interview for assistant store manager in Walmart, which has a starting base salary of $48,000 but he wanted to ask for 75 or even 80k, you know, just to get rich quicker. For context, at that time he was just 24 years old and quickly found himself in a massive loss as he had a loan outstanding and massive credit card debt. He didn't know what he should do. Collection so no one knows he's a dumbass or bankrupt so everyone can enjoy his mountain of debt. He firstly lost money by getting margin called but then he stopped using margin and every time he got back in he used credit cards and the loan he got from the bank. With his credit card debt at 35k and loan at 15k. Having that said, slowly but surely he was recovering and in 5 to 7 months he was going to be free from credit card debt. But at the same time he was thinking about saving up a whole year worth of checks and yellowing it on a spy one day out call option. Shortly after that he lost a lot of money in a week, he didn't share any specifics but I think it's safe to assume he lost it on spy options. Then he even said that he's all together down by a million dollars. And then he finally posted a loss with screenshots that wasn't removed or deleted. Deleted. And this trade shows why and how he's constantly losing money. The first clue is the title, SPX option YOLO, I'll never sell. And the second is his screenshots. He went almost all in into SPX weekly call options with a striking price at $4,380 and an expiration date on July the 14th, 2021. He went in with around $130,000, had around 6k in cash remaining and was already down by 22% or 
28k. He kept on holding as his position continued dropping, slowly but surely all the way down to nothing, to the point of his net account value being negative $34,173.71. Believe it or not, he's somehow up. As he diversified to crypto, took out a reasonable amount and even paid off credit card debt and stuff. On top of that, he even got a promotion at work, so things finally looked like they were getting better. Now, the funny thing is, he's a finance major and thinks he knows what he's doing, which is why he even decided to YOLO one day till expiry options with newly deposited funds. Now, with his enormous expertise and knowledge in finance and business, he even thought about making making his own startup, but he needed help finding funding. Unfortunately, like his almost every other post, this idea also got removed. So we'll never know the true genius of his business, but judging by the comments, he basically wanted to start a bank. And based on his track record, this would be the most successful bank in the world. I mean, just look at his financial decisions. He had a credit card debt of 30k and two personal loans. On top of that, he just bought a car and once again he was debating between collection and bankruptcy. If he'd let it all go to collection he would be f for 7 years, but hopefully he could get a promotion within 2 years and make over 150k and then he could save money for a house and YOLO the rest. You know, life is all about risk and he's ready. At that point he was making 70k, his credit card debt was at 30k, personal loan at 15k, a margin call of more than 75k and a car worth 20k, which is the only thing he's paying off. Now please keep in mind that he's a finance major and even wanted to start a bank. Anyway, then he went quiet for almost a year until he posted his next loss. He was down by 82% or 11k and was just tired of losing, with his losses once again coming from spy calls as he was just yoloing his life away. At this point, losing is just a way of life for him, as in his opinion, losing money only gets easier. What he normally does after losing all his money is eat noodles or make spaghetti and pay his bills late. Then after a month he repeats and now it's just normal. Which is why he once again went all in with around $11,000 and 0 days till expiry spy puts, with a striking price at $402. And finally he broke his long losing streak and made about 150%, getting his account up to 25.6k. Sadly it was all for nothing because 2 weeks later he lost all the gains and more in just a day. He thought this was the last straw. He was exhausted and tired and didn't think he could keep going. But he still had almost 10k left and an unscratchable itch to lose it all. So he spent the next week getting to almost 100% and losing $32,763.51, leaving him with $20.51. And then he finally made the decision to pull the plug, deactivating his brokerage account. He goes on about his journey, how he finally realized realized that financial wisdom is a beacon in the storm, it's about safeguarding what you have while seeking growth, not risking it all on a single roll of the dice. It's about securing your future and making informed choices. He even said he won't be back for 2 years, to which one trader responded with see you next month then. And I kid you not, that's exactly what happened, as we finally came to his latest loss. He lost around 6.5k in just a day and is left with nothing. Today was his last day. He can't do this anymore. Every time he says he's done, he still trades, but this time it's over. He can't do this anymore. He has nothing. He's poor and not supposed to be. He doesn't have food for dinner since he just lost it all. Altogether, since college, he lost well over 75 to 150k of his own money and realized losses in excess of over a million dollars. And because you've made it this far, I have a bonus insane gain for you by Luke Tonami who saw by 344% or $104,000.08 just today. Now the funny part is that he doesn't know how to use this app. 
as he just sits on the toilet and clicks buttons. Anyway, he made such an insane gain because on October the 23rd, he bought 280 Coinbase call options with a striking price at $85 and expiration date on October the 27th. He entered the play because he was at his wit's end. He firstly loaded up on calls with a striking price at $78 last Thursday and cashed out way too early for a 2x profit on Monday, when it could have been way more. When he saw Coinbase tank $3 at close, he figured there was no way this wasn't going to go up eventually with how Bitcoin was moving. He's been bleeding money every week waiting for the pump and got lucky this time. And how lucky he was. The play cost him about $11,000 but because Coinbase stock rose by around 10% overnight, he was instantly up by a lot. And here comes the most important part of his trade. The part that actually turned his imaginary money into real money. Securing the profits. Most traders on Wall Street bets would just let this huge gain run, hoping to make even more in the 4 days before expiration. But he's a bit different. You see in 2021 he was up by a whopping 530% or $42,421 on AMC costs. But even though he took the screenshot he didn't sell. And as a result he lost almost all the gains and it was only downhill from there. So after going through this painful experience he luckily learned his lesson. And on top of that he heard a good quote here that made his decision even easier. Having that said he started spamming sell orders and just in time. Because right after open on Tuesday the stock started violently dropping. Now his year to date chart is far from perfectly going straight up. Because before this last gain he was just slowly losing money and 2 weeks ago even bottomed at 14k which means he was down by about 64%. And if you want to see what happens when you go all in for a month straight, click on video just popped up. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe and if you have any questions or recommendations, leave them in the comments down below and thanks for watching.